the brand new Lexus LBX 2024 it's right here with me and in this video we will do the test drive and I will give you all the information about how is to drive this brand new LBX first of all I will give you some technical data and then we will start driving also if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out Emil Frey in Bern I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so yeah definitely check them out I want to tell you that the car looks so so nice even though it's built on the same platform as Toyota Yaris Cross it has a few improvements not only on the image and design but also to the hybrid system and we will talk about that in a separate video in a full review video so if you want to see that video check it out because it will be a separate video full review with the same car so definitely definitely check out because there I will give you more information it comes with 18 inch wheels super nice wheels ventilated brake this on the front and normal brake this on the rear the car look super super nice to be honest uh, it has very nice lines also the combination of color kind of a copper color with the glossy piano look really really nice and you definitely when you see the car you notice that it is a premium car I don't know how uh, but you feel that uh, when you see it other than that this is the key quite nice key kind of on the same style as Lexus uses with what I notice and something it's incredible look at this now the car it's locked you have the key with you look how easy and how fast the car will open check this out man it's it's that was impressive I mean I don't know how many cars are able to do that once you lock it electric folding mirrors by the way and then when you unlock it check this out it's it's instantaneous it's like was never locked and I was so impressed also the quality a lot of rubber the way it sounds it's it's super super premium inside also incredible quality leather with some kind of microfiber here it feels like Alcantara uh, normal pedals a lot of storage space even in the center console here you have this Alcantara design right here everywhere everywhere right here also on the dashboard around here super nice quality soft material everywhere so for those of you that don't know that Lexus is the premium brand of Toyota it's it's basically owned by Toyota but with much much better quality it's somehow like you would say Porsche for Volkswagen or something like that anyway let's press the brake this is the power button you will see that the car have a lot of elements and a lot of things that are taken from Toyota of course uh, and also because they share the same platform with Toyota Yaris Cross it's basically use the same engine and hybrid system but it's much more improved it's much faster I heard that it's 30% more refined and more silent also at acceleration and this is super impressive and very important at least for me let me put the seat belt also what I notice is that the quality everywhere the steering wheel the armrest everything feels super super nice quality it has also some extra added features in the multimedia even though it's built kind of on the same uh, idea same software same design a little bit of different graphics the same here in the front we have the same the same the same digital cockpit that it's incredible the new digital cockpit that Toyota use it as well it's now on this Lexus LBX and it's so nice and you can customize it in so many ways the only thing is that here with those kind of physical touch buttons here you have to go first of all on the head-up display and through the head-up display you are able to somehow customize the cockpit we will talk about that of course in the full review video uh, it's not that easy to use it but you can get around it uh, pretty fast if you try it more and more but keep in mind it's not that easy as it is on uh, on Toyota for example but yeah it's fine the, the only thing is that you should go through the head-up display and head-up display is nice it's directly on the windshield it's very nice integrated it's blending quite nice right there on the screen so yeah I, I definitely like it I want to reset the consumption so we can see also the the consumption what will be or consumption 
current trip clear data so we have zero liter consumption i'm really curious about that i want to give you some information about the car and then we will start driving the climatic system will be on well basically let me turn it off for a second until we start driving because otherwise the consumption will be higher the basis entry level lbx here in switzerland at emil frey start at 35,900 francs the model that we have with us right here has a few extra options of course but also this version that i have with me right here it start at 44,400 francs plus these options around here like metallic color premium package advanced pack the lunch package lx will go the price up to 53,040 francs and we will talk a little bit more in the review video about all those things here it comes also with this lexus multimedia 9.8 inch screen it comes with a lot of cool features but we will talk about that in the review now when it comes to technical data 1390 kilograms the weight of the car 4.6 liter estimated consumption and 104 co2 emission we will see if we can beat this 4.6 liter consumption i'm really curious about the consumption if the consumption is better than on toyota yaris cross the top speed of the car 170 km per hour 0 to 109.2 seconds the power of the car 136 horsepower 185 newton meters it comes with a 1.5 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line the same system as on uh, yaris cross and it's connected connected with the ECVT automatic transmission. It's a front wheel drive system and it has also an electric motor and both of them drive the front wheel of the car. The battery of the car, nickel metal hybrid battery and it's located under the rear seats. It's a one kilowatt hour battery and the electric motor power 94 horsepower and it's integrated into the transmission. Fuel tank capacity 36 liters. The drag coefficiency 0.34, turning circle 10.4 meter and the ground clearance 22 centimeters. It comes with independent type McPherson suspension on the front and torsion bar on the rear and 18 inch wheels as you saw before. Now guys, those are the most important information. Let me clear one more time the data. Let me start the climatic system on level one and let's go to 22 degrees. You have some physical button in connection with touch buttons and it's quite responsive responsive i like that also you have a nice graphic here that shows you what happened with energy in real life so let's drive it here is the stalk to change the gears all you have to do press the brake and go in drive just like that if you go right now all the way down you are in sport mode you can also change the gears from here from those pedals if you want to try to do that it's kind of a simulation i should say because the car doesn't have actually gears but you can yeah basically try to do that anyway uh, not sure exactly to be honest how those supposed to work but yeah then you have echo mode button so the car can drive in echo mode and you have the EV button if you have enough battery will drive in EV and you have also auto hold function that's great because it's super useful and yeah let's drive it first impression and as always the car have enough battery we will drive in electric mode so you can see right now it's so silent and smooth because the car will drive in electric mode and that's that's really pleasant you basically feel like you're driving in electric mode now the petrol engine kick in i'm really curious because i know this engine it's improved uh in comparison with the one from toyota and i'm really really looking forward it's for the first time when i drive the car uh, and i have also quite limited time with the car today but as soon as i get the car for a little bit more time i will do my best to to make another test drives also on the highway and so on but also today we will go on the highway now let's see the turning circle Uh, it's pretty good. We can turn in small spaces relatively good You can hear right now also the Petrol engine is quite quite silent 
Now you have also a lot of options if you go here and then if you go to all those vehicle customization and you have so so many settings around here in the menu much more settings than you find on um, on Toyota and we will talk about those as well also it comes with all that safety features cruise control adaptive cruise control emergency brake Now, what I like the most on those systems from Toyota Lexus hybrid systems, full hybrid system, is the fact that everything is so linear. Even though sometimes you, you hear the CVT transmission, how it's revving on, uh, they are still very smooth and linear. And when you accelerate, everything is straight away and it's smooth. It's, it's, it's like you're driving an electric car. Uh, it stays good also in curves now head-up display it's pretty clear I don't know if you see it it's directly on the windshield you can see a lot of information there uh, and also you can set up from here you just press this button you can set up the cruise control the speed and the car will keep the distance keep the speed in the beginning it's probably a little bit complicated to get used with those with those buttons here on the steering wheel but once you get around them and you learn it it's so easy because you just look in the front on the head-up display and you change all those informations right there directly on the head-up display right now I just activate this uh, lane assist and adaptive cruise control and you can see the car it is basically hold the speed accelerate brake look at this and to warn you to put your hand on the steering wheel. This is a super complicated curve right here, but the car, the car is still able to, to manage to stay between the lanes. Anyway, I have this warning, annoying warning, because here it's a sensor that read your face. And if it feels like your face, it's a little bit lower or something like that, because of the camera, I didn't see my face and it's kind of confusing. And I have to go into the menu and uh, deactivate all those uh, features and you can do it super super simple and also you have some extra options in the in the multimedia system anyway right now at 80 km per hour the car seems to be pretty overpowered i mean it has more than enough power it feels like it feels like you're driving 30 when you drive 80 so it's it's very smooth and and light now if you go here to extra settings you have here all kind of safety features from where you can um, change them and adjust them yeah, I think it's better to stop and I will stop all this system and deactivate right to deactivate it but until then let me uh, try to activate again those features so you press this one right here and right now the car again will try to stay between the lanes accelerate brake and the thing is that what I noticed that weren't you pretty fast to put a hand on the steering wheel now we will go out here and I, I have to deactivate that otherwise it's not working any single feature I just basically forget about it. I really forget about, about this sensor here. It's so, so annoying <laughs> most of the time. I know it's safety feature, but most of the time it's crazy annoying. By the way, visibility wise, it's very, very good. And also you have super good visibility on the rear here. It shows you the, the window in the back. It's so straight and you have such a good visibility there also the pedals feel good quality pretty smooth you really definitely feel like you're driving a much premium better quality car than Yaris Cross also acceleration wise it's pretty nice and pleasant it goes around the corners pretty sharp and nice also in curves it stays good good seats good quality also on those seats brakes feel nice 
right now the car recuperate the energy back into the battery even though you don't have the options to choose for example to recuperate the energy like you have for example in uh, on the Renault e-tech where you have the, the recuperation mode pedals or stuff like that or B mode here you don't have that only when you press the brake the car will recuperate the energy stronger and stronger um, it still recuperate a little bit but not that much when you release the acceleration it's more of a rolling feeling the same as the other Toyota cars as well now guys it's a perfect place right here to change those settings uh, now going in reverse press the brake go go in front even though it has this small stalk it's so easy to change those and it's so good positioned right here with all this uh, physical button it comes also with those amazing cameras and active lines there so it helps you to park the car very simple um, electronic handbrake activate automatically now I want to go here into the menu and the car settings and driver assistance systems here you have so many assistance systems look at this how many assistance systems you have is just crazy insane and from here you can activate deactivate different safety features driver support look at this how many steering assist deceleration obstacle anticipation you have overtake acceleration where is this face detection this is something that i driver monitor alert i think this is the one i think this is the one i'm looking for i'm not sure about that because there are so many safety features collision mitigate no this is good notification no going back and then you have pre-collision yeah i think that was the one parking brake support proactive drive assist let's see yeah this one i want to deactivate it was deactivated in the beginning i think that was front cross level you can see how many features it has man it's it's crazy um great the consumption until now 5.3 liter but we will drive more we will go on the highway a little bit more and yeah we will continue the trip i hope this is deactivated now uh the climatic system is still on put it in drive again and if you have enough battery like i have now if i press the ev mode yeah you see when i drive i drive only in electric mode and you can see here the nice graphic with what happened with the energy in real time you can see the battery you can see the electric motor integrated in transmission and the petrol engine it's it's pleasant to drive it to be honest it's it's really a pleasant car good visibility outside even though look at the mirrors they have a strange interesting design i like that i like those unique things and when you wanna for example You hear that that's the cvt transmission and indeed indeed it's definitely true it's much more silent than uh, yaris cross they definitely improved that and it's also a little bit quicker it feels quicker it feels nice also over the bumps it feels relatively comfortable and also in the curves it stays good yeah definitely a step forward if you don't like the Yaris cross design uh, this one is much more beautiful in terms of design and also it has better quality so if you like this amazing hybrid system and you want to have it but you want to have a nicer car then this Lexus LBX LBX is for you we will go out on the highway a little bit now And again, we will try to set up the autopilot. I hope now it's it's better. Doesn't give me any more that error. See the blind spot technology in the corners. And we will go out right now. And from here, all you have to do is just press this button and then forward to set the speed and right now the car will hold between the lanes will accelerate will brake depending what the car in front will do and you can set it very very simple um, yeah in the beginning it's quite it's quite 
confusing but after you get used with it it will be so easy to to adjust it because those buttons they have different functions you can change the functions from here I will explain you in the review video but once you get your head around it you will be fine you will learn it super fast and right now the car is basically driving itself stay between the lanes accelerate let's see because now it comes a complicated curve I'm really curious if will manage to stay there pretty good also you can see the graphic here I was worried in the beginning when I saw first time the yeah let's let's lower the speed a little bit because it comes a complicated curve we all the, f the first one managed to do it very well not perfect but very well and now this is this is hard one if if the car managed to do this this is I uh, want me to put my hand on the steering wheel. I put it. Oh wow, wow, wow! It goes from second to from from left to right lane. It doesn't stay perfectly between, but it managed to do it. So great job, really. That was a hard test there for the autopilot, and right now it still managed to to stay between the lanes. So yeah, great job. They definitely share it with Toyota because I tested it also a few days ago on the new Toyota Corolla Touring and it was really good. It was really really good and also this one um, It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's it's good. It's between the best I should say and now when the lanes are visible, it's it's fantastic it's a great help and a great feature to have it so definitely you should have this uh, on your car and again here we can step up the the speed a little bit more so we can go to 80 because here it's around 80 let's see here where our construction sites if the car it's managed to see the lanes I don't trust it too much I have to have my hands here but yeah it, the car sees the lanes but I wouldn't trust it here where the construction sites are You see it's a little bit confused still don't know which are the the lanes so that's the biggest problem with autopilot systems on all the cars when come uh, unexpected come but yeah it managed to do just fine now press the brake take the control accelerate you can see right now what happened with the energy we go to 100 and here at 100 once the speed it stabilize you you don't hear anymore the engine you just hear a little bit of wind noise from outside it's, it's that it and from the tires a little bit but the good part is that you hear these engine revs only when you press the acceleration harder and try to accelerate going on the highway or accelerate harder but when the speed is stabilized it's so silent it's it's so smooth and definitely I can say it is a little bit silenter than Yaris Cross when it comes to this full hybrid system because they just improve a little bit the system and I read about that so they, they said that they improved it around 20-30% but I feel like they did in terms of acceleration but in terms of sound I think it's just less than that maybe 10% around there but, but still uh, a much more refined driving feeling and it feels much more let's say much more sportier then Yaris Cross it didn't lean too much in curves like Yaris Cross you see it stays a little bit better on the road where Yaris Cross probably the shape of the car it feels a little bit more leaning left and right but this one it feels like it stays better on the on the on the road this is what I feel and it's nice to drive you have those side supports hold you okay pretty good you have a pretty good uh, comfort on the seats good visibility perfect visibility I should say even though it has this interesting mirrors you have quite good visibility so I wouldn't complain great quality on the on the steering wheel 
good visibility head-up display you have so many information there you don't even need this digital cockpit but the digital cockpit the new one this one from that Toyota use it as well it's a very good one now you hear that when you want to pass the other cars you hear a little bit of the CVT the power is fine but you see at higher speeds you start to hear a little bit of noise from outside noise it's fine I was expect to be a little bit better but it's fine from 1 to 10 I will give it a 7 But I'm impressed on how smooth is the engine, really. You, you basically don't hear it when you're driving. It's just so good insulated right there. And also once you, you manage to set the speed, everything run very smooth. I like very much the driving feeling, the smooth linear driving feeling. You're feeling like you're driving a pure electric car. I'm really also, let's see the consumption. I'm really curious about the consumption in the end. We have 5.1 liter until now, but we will see in the end what numbers we can get. Also, I like very much those physical buttons. The most important buttons are physical. They are easy to control. You have also uh, buttons for 300 cam camera, 360 degrees camera. I will show you when we will uh, park the car. And also it comes with park assist. Visibility on the screen, it's also fine. Uh, it's nice integrated into the dash. It looks very fancy and very expensive, but I wish to be a little bit straighter and probably tilt it to the driver. That will be much more easier to to see the stuff and probably to adjust and change different feature while you're driving but yeah i guess you have the head-up display you have the digital cockpit that have a lot of infos and feature that you don't even need to use the navigation while you're driving so or the multimedia while you're driving the navigation system is quite clear once you set the destination it's pretty clear and you don't have to look on the right side and why is that because you have the digital cockpit that shows you the navigation right there and the, the full map with the directions and that's very very important that's really important otherwise love the driving I told you it feels a little bit more sportier it's more like a, on the sportier side if we compare it with Yaris Cross where Yaris Cross it feels um, a little bit more let's say more uh, more comfortable a little bit more on the comfortable side indeed this is the the more refined version more premium version of that car and it it's really welcome right now this car it's it's it has his own space there on the market because having a premium small crossover city car um, with this incredible full hybrid system I think it's it's really really useful I don't think the competition have such a full hybrid system I mean T-Rock doesn't have it and Q2 doesn't have this full hybrid and I think it's it's really welcome so if you want to if you want to really buy a premium small crossover for the city with a full hybrid incredible full hybrid you didn't have this option and now you have it and I know there are so many people that probably didn't like the, sh the shape the design of Yaris Cross is not so aggressive and not so masculine I should say and this 
LBX look much nicer, nice lines, beautiful design, super good quality inside here, so premium quality. Um, also come with extra features, also in the multimedia and also as the hybrid system it's improved and it's also a little bit quicker, so I think it's one second quicker or something like that than the Yaris Cross. And you can see right now, it's still working the, the autopilot, set it up from here. Once you learn it, you can use it so easy. And also, let's don't forget that on this Lexus LBX, you get the same, like around 10 years warranty, if I'm not wrong. It's almost the same here in Switzerland on Toyota. So that's crazy impressive. Yeah, love it. Do that totally um, love the car. I really like it. I think it's great. Look at it. You see, it stays close to the right lane, but it's doing a good job. I mean, it sees the lanes to warn you, and now it goes on the left side. Yeah, that's why I didn't. I told you it's not perfect, but it do the job. But it's not like perfectly stay between the lanes but still doing a gorgeous job. Now, um, yeah, probably if we look in this class, probably this is between the best cars there. When, when we think about the hybrid system and the engine and the mechanical part, then when we take in consideration the quality of the car and the uh, interior, multimedia, cockpit, head-up display, I think I think it's between the, the best, if not the best. It's The pedals are also smooth, you have auto hold function, look at this. You just press the pedal so smooth and then it will stop. You have a great consumption. You can see right now it's 4.6 liter until now on our trip and we will still driving. So this is super good consumption. 4.6 liter, it's, it's pretty good. Now going here on this. You have also, by the way, you have a button, um, Echo mode. And we didn't drive in echo mode. Now, if I activate the echo mode, driving echo, the car will give you less acceleration smoothly and then it will help you reduce the consumption. The climatic system is on. You can see it's 23 degrees on the right side. We can synchronize that by this button, pressing that button. And with climatic system, 4.6 liters, it's, it's not bad. Not bad, and inside it's, inside it's super warm and nice, pleasant temperature. Yeah, as I said, over the bumps is doing quite fine. It's a little bit on the firmer side and on the stiffer side, a little bit on the sportier side, but that's good for the handlings. And that's what I told you before uh, on the highway in comparison with the Iris Cross, is the fact that it feels much better on the ground. It feels much more sportier, it has better stability, uh, but still the suspension are quite comfy. They are comfortable, they are nice to drive. And right now you see, just press the brake and now the car will recuperate the energy back into the battery in a smoother way. Also the, the screen here, it's responsive, it's nice, it's 4.5 liter. You see, I'm, I already change in eco mode and the consumption going lower. Anyway, we drive at lower speeds, but now if I try to accelerate, it gives me the power much more linear, you know, much more linear goes the power, but also in a very smooth way. Now we go down, you see it still recuperate energy even though I don't press the brake, so it has a little bit, maybe 5% recuperation, but when I press the brake now, it comes even more, more recuperation from the, of the energy. Otherwise, around the town, at those kind of speeds, the sound insulation is quite good. You, 
you hear just slightly a little bit of noise from outside but nothing serious just a little bit of noise But you see, when you accelerate smoothly and nice, this transmission, it's, it's super, super good and silent. You see, accelerate smoothly, you don't hear the engine. Only when you press the acceleration, then you hear the engine a little bit, but it's fine. I mean, it's not louder than a normal petrol engine, let's say like that. In einem Kilometer, Baustelle. Yeah, the, the navigation system also warn you that our construction sites on the front. But it's quite nice. It's, it's really nice to drive and I think it's also fun to drive on twisty roads, on the mountain. I think it's lovely to drive it. You can see on the curves it stays good stays pretty pretty good now here we have to go a little bit slower some construction sites 4.6 liter consumption it still stay low i still accelerate a little bit harder the, the car can read the traffic speed limit but also can read the traffic signs that's incredible so you can see in the front the car read that our traffic the construction and that's that's impressive that's quite impressive so here we have to drive super s slow and when I drive so slow you notice how smooth the car it is now over those bumps when the the, the holes are bigger then you feel a little bit the stiffness when they are small like here it's pretty comfy, but it is on the stiffer side, on the sportier side, as I said before. But that allows you to have much more nicer driving feeling, much pleasant. those kind of speeds it's it drive in electric mode so one kilowatt hour battery it's, it's, it's pretty enough to give you that electric power from time to time so yeah I'm I'm a big fan of full hybrids for those of you that are watching my channel uh, often you know that now turning around the car around here is not that complicated it's just let's show you also what i notice is that the steering wheel is not super assisted it's somewhere in the middle so it's also a little bit uh sportier so that's a good thing because at high speeds you will have a better stability i will try to get it also on the highway um, as soon as I get the car for more time, I will get it on the highway to test it at higher speeds to see how it's the stability and how the car it is. But in general, should be should be good. It's nice, man. It's nice. The car, it's it's really really nice. everything you touch it's such a good quality even here here you have you saw the doors how they close and open uh, also you have a button electronic opening on the doors you have also I, I will show you more in the review video so check out also definitely the review video because there you will find out even more useful information about the car you see here are quite bigger bumps and here you feel the suspension. You don't have the possibility on the car to change sport, normal, eco mode, just eco mode and normal mode you have it. But you don't have a sport mode here where to drive the car a little bit. 
but I think even if you put it in normal mode, for example, if we deactivate the echo mode, yeah, let me deactivate it like that. And then if you wanna just drive a little bit faster, I will show you right now. You still have plenty of power, you know, like, So definitely the car push you back in the seat and give you plenty of power to cross past other cars. The brakes feel also great. The brakes feel also good quality. So from this point of view, it's quite nice. I like it. And also it stays good. It really stays good on the road. It's good setup. Another thing that I noticed is the same thing as I said also in other Toyota cars that use this digital, the new digital cockpit. I wish the cockpit to be a little bit brighter in a sunny day, to, to be much more brighter. I think this will be uh, useful. It stays good in roundabouts, but the same. Don't expect that the steering wheel to be very assisted. It's quite stiffer. Um, it's it's somehow soft but in the same time it's it's relatively stiffer so you you have to turn it a little bit in order to turn the car how much 4.5 liter consumption you saw how we drive we drive also eco we drive also sport let's go back to eco mode you see also on the screen eco mode there and here you have so many so many we will go through all these details. You can see the Yaris Cross on the other side. It's a little bit taller Yaris Cross and has this kind of bulky design. It's, it's nice, but I think this one, LBX, it's much more beautiful, much nicer design, much more slimmer lines, sharp edges and so on. Good visibility in the mirrors, but so, so interesting, the mirrors design. It's, it's really interesting. This one, this one is perfect, the visibility in this one is really good. It's because in the back you have that straight window, you have very, very good visibility here. I think this car is fabulous for the city driving. When you're driving the city, it's so smooth. It, you, when you don't have to accelerate harder, it's, it's like an electric car. It's really, really good. And as I s said before, it's hard, it's very hard to notice the differences um, between this full hybrid and the one from Yaris Cross, but it's something there between 10%, yeah, I think it's, it's better, 10 to 20%. You see right now, the car doesn't consume anything when it stays here. This is the advantage of full hybrid cars, because when you drive in traffic, in cities, in crowded cities and so on, if you don't have the climatic system, the car will use no energy. And even though if you use the climatic system, the car and the petrol engine is still off and it's silent, it's, it's quite, quite nice. And by the way, in case you're wondering, the car come with double glassing here and I will show you that in the full review video. I will show you all those information. I will give you more information. So it has double glassing to improve the sound insulation, insulation inside the car. see here it's quite a hard curve and you turn 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 the steering wheel a little bit so that's great for high speeds but not so fun sometimes in the city but for me personally I like it a little bit more stiffer like that than to be super assisted anyway we will park the car and end up this video so let me park it here 
and I want to go in reverse just like that visibility on the mirrors it's really good and also if you don't want to look in the mirrors you have this camera system reverse camera it's very clear resolution it's quite good you have those active lines plus you have this bird eye view that shows you in which position is the car the car come also with six sensors on the front on the rear also for parking you can see i have parking sensors you have perfect visibility around the car so check this out front camera you see these active lines and so on it's it's gorgeous man okay this front and if you go in reverse you see the reverse camera and the sensors and it shows you like the bmw the sensors you see it's very smart stuff put it in park press this button easy as that electronic handbrake already activated so smooth everything work very very smooth and nice and i like it i mean everything you touch the stalks the buttons it's easy to adjust it's easy to change different features even though they are not perfect of course they are really really well positioned well thought a lot of high quality materials when it comes to quality it's really good you have this new digital uh, display that cockpit it's fantastic 4.5 liter consumption very good consumption and a little bit higher you have the head-up display that's also super super good because you have on it otherwise guys really love the car if I had the money to and if I want to go so for example if you want to go for this full hybrid from, from Toyota, if you want to buy a car in this class and you want something premium and you don't like the Yaris Cross for example, this one is just perfect and even though, even though if you want a high premium quality car with the same full hybrid system, incredible full hybrid system that from my point of view I think probably might be the best full hybrid system on the market today, I think I think this Lexus LBX is probably the best car and I'm not saying only me that I saw also uh, some other journalists and uh, people said that uh, they are probably one of the best car in this class visibility it's great comfort it's great driving feeling also at higher speeds it's great even though the steering wheel in the city it's a little bit on the sportier side the suspension are on the sportier side I still think it's easy to drive and it's very good setup because if they will make it so super soft assisted then on the highway at high speed will be a little bit unstable but yeah from my point of view good setup perfect digital cockpit multimedia system is responsive it's nice it's simple the way it should be physical button amazing quality storage space is fine um, yeah driving feeling is great yeah, you should try it. You should try it. Definitely, if you want to see the car, if you're in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Emil Frey in Bern. I will leave the link in the description also on the screen. So you can check them out. Very nice people. You can do the test drive, buy the car, see the car, check them out. Thank you for watching. I hope you get some useful information. It's for the first time when I drive this car today. So the first place to understand the car and then give you also the information. But I promise I will do another video with more information when I have the car for maybe one, two days. Because now I have a limited time just three hours to make a few videos and yeah I didn't have too much time but I hope I bring you some useful information so thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and I see you soon in the full review video with the same car so don't miss out that video thank you for watching stay safe see you soon guys bye